Get angry. Little things, little things at work, little things at the home. Easily the, the wife gets angry at the husband. Very easily the husband gets angry at the wife. Little, little things make you, make you angry at the children. Learn to swallow your anger. Become a person that perseveres through these things. If little things annoy us, if little, little things get angry at, at you know, make us upset, how do we expect Allah Azza wa to forgive our big sins? We expect from Allah that He doesn't get angry at us. And yet here we are exacting anger at every little thing. It shows a lack of restraint. So وَالْكَاظِمِينَ الْغَيْبِ And the second, the next attribute, وَالْعَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ Very difficult. They forgive people out of love. Not غافرين Not غافرين عافين غافر is someone who forgives But عاف is someone who forgives out of love You know when you forgive someone and they offend you and you forgive them First of all most people say brother I know that was a nice khutbah and I know I should forgive but my situation is special You don't understand this guy was really messed up He doesn't deserve forgiveness By the way you never forgive someone who deserves it by definition, forgiveness means to give it to somebody who doesn't deserve it. And you're not forgiving for them. You're not exacting forgive. you're not giving them forgiveness because they want it. Or because they deserve it. You're doing it for yourself because you want to be in this list. You want to be among these people that are considered muttaqeen. That's why they forgive people. Especially those who work for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. If you volunteer at a masjid or at an Islamic organization, especially in the situation of family, there's a lot of feuds, there's a lot of things that come up and people get friction among each other. This is where shaitan wants friction. Inna shaitana yanzahu baynakum. Among yourself, shaitan will no doubt, he will try to cause dissent among you. And these are the times we have to remember what afina anin nas. You know the Sahaba understood this really beautifully well. Hassan radiallahu anhu was one time, he's sitting there and his servant brings him drink. And when he was pouring the drink, he dropped it. He dropped the drink. Of course this upset the, the Sahabi radiallahu anhu. So immediately he recited this ayah. Those who suppress their anger, those who swallow their anger. Hassan says radiallahu anhu, kalamtu ghaydi, I've swallowed my anger. He heard the ayah, he said, okay, I'm not upset any, anymore. The servant continues to recite, he says, وَلَا عَافِينَ عَنِ النَّاسِ And they lovingly forgive people. He says, عَفَوْتُكَ I forgave you too. Then he, then he recites the end of the ayah, Allah says, وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ It is Allah who loves those who excel. Who excel in their religion, who excel in their consciousness of Allah. He says, go, you're a free man. He, he said, I'm free. Because just because he heard the ayah, these ayat are supposed to exact change in our behavior.